Since we have such powerful tools as normal CDF and inverse norm at our disposal, it's going to be very important for us to be able to determine quickly whether or not our sample data came from a population that was normally distributed. Because if it was normally distributed, then we would be able to use those tools, normal CDF and inverse norm, if we so desired. So how are we going to determine that? Well, there's actually a lot of different ways, and we're not going to get into pretty much any of them, other than this quick visual method called a normal probability plot. When you're looking at a normal probability plot, what you want to determine is whether or not the dots are approximately linear or not. They're going to be kind of following a diagonal line path. If the dots, if the points follow that diagonal line path, then the data set was approximately normal. If, or excuse me, the data set came from a population that was approximately normal. If they do not follow that linear path, then they're not approximately normal, at least as far as we can discern seems simple enough? That's because it is pretty simple. And we're not going to get into in this course how this graph is made, what's going on in the background. There's actually several different ways to draw it. All we're going to do is look at them and try to determine whether they're normal or not. Uh, we will also see how to graph it with our calculator, but that's pretty quick as well. All right, so let's look at this first example here. A group of students gather data on the speeds of vehicles through a construction zone. And you can see that those points are approximately following that line down that diagonal. So therefore, since the points are approximately linear, that means that the data set is coming from a population that is normally distributed, at least as far as we can tell. So I'm going to write that up. So the data set appears to be from a normally distributed population because the points on the normal probability plot are approximately linear. There you have it. Simple as that. All right, so now let's look at the number of out-of-school sus school suspensions excuse me, in this next one. And you can see that those points do not follow that red diagonal line down the center. So therefore, these data appear to not be from a normally distributed population because the points are not linear. It's a little awkward to write, but I wrote that the data set appears to be from a not normally distributed population because the points on the normal probability plot are not approximately linear. You could say the data set um, appears to not be from a normally distributed population. That might be a little bit better English for it. Do not be. Oops. But of course, that's going to make my graph freak out. <laughs> there we go. To not be from a normally distributed population because the points um, the normal probability plot are not linear. All right, now the only other thing we could have to do is build the graph ourself, ourselves. So I have down here an example, and this will be actually pretty quick um, because your calculators will automatically do this for you. So let me go to my calculator. I've already done this once, so bear with me here. So you go to Stat, you go to Edit, and you type in your data values. So for me, I have these what is it, nine or 10 values for the average daily temperature outside McDivitt Hall. So there we have those temperatures. And then I go to stat plot, which is above y equals. I choose number one. Now I want it to match the screen here. I want it to be on. I want to use the last of the graphs. It's kind of this constantly climbing graph. Now it's that way no matter which calculator you're on. So if you're on the old edition, it's still that sixth graph. And you use the right arrow to work your way down to it. And then you want L1 to be your data list, X data axis to be X, the mark to be on this little box shape. It's the easiest one to see. You can choose one of the other shapes if you like, but the box is kind of easiest. And technically, you can pick any color you so desire. Like I could pick green, it doesn't really make any difference. Now I don't want to just press graph, I want to press zoom and pick number 9, which is zoom stat. It's that one, no matter what TI 83 or 84 calculator you're using, it's just that it might not be on the screen if you're on an older calculator. So I pick number 9, zoom stat, and there you have it. There's the graph. Now you can see we can't really draw the line in here, but you can kind of see that there's a diagonal line going down the middle of this graph that those points approximately reach or uh, swarm around, if you will. So those points, since they're basically linear-ish, then that's fine. And then we will say that the data set is normally distributed. 
which is what I just write here. The data set appears to be from a normally distributed population because the points on that normal probability plot are approximately linear. You can draw the graph of it on your paper, but if you're paying attention, you might realize that it's right there because I already did it for the calculator instructions. So there's that piece. All right, we're all done with section 7.3. I hope you enjoyed it.